I know this topic has already been dealt with in detail on many channels, but as you have suggested dealing with this topic in a multitude of comments, I will do my best, and hopefully, you will find it interesting. As science and researchers say, approximately 23 million to 2.6 million years ago, before today's modern era, there was a bloodthirsty beast which, from today's point of view, was a perfect machine for destroying everything encountered on its way. Megalodon shark was the largest and most powerful predator that prowled the seas, devouring anything it encountered on its way. In 1928 and 1933, on the New Zealand shores, the same people reported on both occasions seeing a 12-meter-long shark. In 1918, David Stead, an Australian naturalist, got confirmation of seeing a giant shark that should not exist. Guys fishing near Broughton Island caught sight of a blue whale-sized shark, gorging all their crayfish traps that measured one meter in diameter. In spite of these relatively recent sights of the cruel gorgon, scientists still claim it went extinct 2.6 million years ago. An average megalodon weighed 20 to 40 tons and measured 11 to 17 meters in length. Some scientists claim that the largest specimens grew up to 20 meters and weighted up to 100 tons, but there are no fossil proofs of it. I believe these dimensions are exaggerated, as a 20 meter and 100 ton animal would be extremely slow and would starve to death. A predator must be fast to catch its prey. Nevertheless, it is undoubtedly the most powerful killer hosted by sea depths known to people. Megalodon is simply the perfect killer unrivaled in blue depths. The hunting methods of this animal were brutal. With the power of its jaws and the size of its teeth, Megalodon did not have to bite the prey at its soft parts, like most other predators. It simply bit anywhere, cutting through every bone as if it was soft tissue. This is testified to by fossilized whales that literally show Megalodons entering their stomach when biting their soft tissue. However, there are fossils exhibiting the same ingress on the upper side, accommodating the thick spine that was just a tiny obstacle for the megalodon's jaws. Scientists believe megalodons traveled in groups, so their hunting power and strategy was even more brutal. The name megalodon actually means big tooth and absolutely matches the description. The teeth of this giant could measure 7 up to whooping 18 centimeters. Rare teeth collectors are in a constant quest for megalodon's teeth, and 18-centimeter megalodon teeth are very scarce, so collectors keep them jealously, which is logical, as they are a true rarity, and only a few of them have been found. As researchers claim, this animal had often lost its teeth, usually when biting the prey, which was no problem for the megalodon as it would grow new teeth. Most teeth of this gorgon that can be bought on the internet are usually pretty worn teeth that testify to this animal being constantly hungry and always eating. When you are the largest predator, in this case the megalodon, then you have an unquenchable appetite. Widely open jaws of a megalodon could open to 3.4 meters, which is quite a bite. The predator treated itself with all types of prey from dolphins, which are, in this case, small animals, through sharks, shell animals, to big humpback whales. There was simply no animal in the ocean, big or small, who could escape being in the menu of the megalodon. Due to its mighty jaws and up to 180,000 newtons bite force, megalodon's bite would inflict deadly injuries on a humpback whale's head. 180,000 newtons bite could be most easily explained as the one that could crush a small car made of metal. Fossilized whale remains speak of the deadliness of the bites and the eating habits of this predator. Some fossils even contain megalodon tooth tips that would fall off during horrible bites of the eerie beast. Even today, the great white sharks, which are the descendants of the megalodon, would attack a humpback whale, but only if in a group, and only if the whale is old, weak, injured and cannot defend itself. At the heyday of its existence, megalodon could be found in all seas. Megalodon's fossils have been found in America, Europe, Africa, Puerto Rico, Cuba, Jamaica, Canary Islands, Australia, New Zealand, Japan, Malta, Greenland, and India. In those ancient times, if the living environment was the sea, and there was food in it, then you could be sure that megalodon was living there. Apart from being on the top of the food chain, or eating everything and not being eaten by anything, this animal also had a long lifespan. 
It lived 20 to 40 years, so it is not surprising that it inhabited all of the oceans, it both lived long and had no enemies. Based on a great number of fossilized remains, scientists managed to construct complete skeletons of this animal and compare them with today's fish, sharks, and other sea population. They came to precise conclusions that apart from its size, another advantage of a megalodon beast was its extreme speed. Scientists have calculated it could swim at a speed of up to 32 km per hour, which was incredible bearing in mind its size and weight. These are speeds that could not be reached by any of today's sharks. Of course, there is always the question. Why would a predator that had no natural enemies, that could not be injured by any other animal, become extinct? What could have caused their extinction, fortunately for us and unfortunately for Megalodon? Even without firm evidence, the most widespread belief is that powerful Megalodon went extinct because of the lack of vast amounts of food it needed. As science claims, 2.6 million years ago, the sea level was changing drastically, which greatly affected the ocean species and the quantity of food Megalodon could find. Greater species simply went extinct, and fewer sources of food Megalodon could eat were harvested by smaller and agiler predators. It turns out the competition for the same prey was enormous, so Megalodon could not reach the quantity of food it needed to, only to maintain its body temperature. Interestingly, despite the fact it was the largest predator that ravened the oceans and had teeth that could pierce any flesh, shell, or bone, eventually, the ancient beast starved to death. I do not know whether this predator went extinct because of starvation, but I do know that it would not be pleasant to encounter even a white shark in its natural habitat, let alone a megalodon, so for us, it not so bad that this animal does not rave in the oceans anymore. Certainly, there are still circles of people and connoisseurs of ocean depths, who claim that there is still some specimen of megalodon living in the deepest parts of the oceans. Whether it exists or not, it was undoubtedly the most powerful sea species and one of the most powerful species that have ever populated the Earth. Support us by clicking like and subscribing to our channel. Thank you for your support.